I'm out here today at what I can only describe as a giant chrome head of Vladimir Lenin. It is located in the center of San Antonio. Very interesting. It's very weird. It's an oddity. It's intriguing. Let's just go ahead and check it out. So you can see right before you're able to see the murals, you can see the edge of it just right there. But before I get to it, I wanted to show you that they have a lot of murals around this area. We have this like, rainbow sort of fiesta colored mural right here. Very beautiful. Go ahead and get in here and get a closer look. And I don't believe that I have access to actually get into here, but we can actually get as close as we possibly can. I'm not sure if this is the entrance to a bar or anything. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to go around and look to see if there is anywhere to actually get in here. But as you can see, there is the gigantic chrome head of Vladimir Lenin. And I believe this is only gonna be here for maybe a year or two, maybe a few years. It's not a permanent installation by any means, but it is a marvel to see. Apparently it is political satire. That's what the art is. Lenin, of course, is a was a communist leader of Russia. And then we have one of the communist leaders of China up there, but depicted as a woman doing a balancing act on top of Putin's head. Can you believe that? Right here in the middle of San Antonio. Well, the Lenin head was actually put up by uh, two artists named the Gao Brothers, two Chinese artists. And it says that their work tends to be charged with political and social nuances. So it, it is a political statement of such. And the piece is actually titled Miss Mao trying to poise herself at the top of Lenin's head. That is the full title. It also says that it was made of chrome because it was meant to take the focus away from the Soviet Union leader Lenin. And if you don't know Mao, depicted on top of the Lenin head was credited with transforming China from a semi-colony to a leading world power, pretty much turning China into a communist country. And right here, someone said that the enormous head serves as the slippery slope onto which a small figure now holding a balancing stick is perched. And then this area right here is coined the name Lizona right there. And I'm not sure when access is actually allowed in to actually see this thing up close, but boy, can you get pretty close up to it, as you can see. And it's just a lot bigger than it's coming out to be in video. Let's look at this thing in a comparison of this four-story building right here. This thing goes up nearly two stories. It does look like he's there in several layers. I wonder if that's how they're actually able to move it from place to place. This thing was originally in California. Believe it or not, it's actually located in quite a beautiful place. There used to be a bunch of little abandoned buildings that were around this area. It's been rejuvenated with a whole lot of places to walk and things to see. Not sure if you can hear me. We have right here a very incredible waterfall. And then right here used to stand a microphone was right there. It's gone now, but apparently at night, as you can see, this thing lights up and there was a microphone right here and you were able to talk into it and your voice would be projected in lights all along here, kind of like a visualizer. Wish it was still here so I could try it out, but still a pretty amazing waterfall nonetheless. As you can see, this area was part of the San Pedro Creek Improvements Project put on by San Antonio in an effort to revitalize this area, bring a little bit more life to it. And Waterfall and the Lenin Head, just over there, are both located right next to the Texas Public Radio Station, just right there. So I'm just gonna travel right through this tunnel and then we can check out what's on the other side. Got some lights just up top right there, and then we have some more murals, artwork, just over here, depicting things about San Antonio. This one's about foundation, an art piece depicting collaboration, another depicting separation, another one here, I believe it says Mundation, just over there on the left, depicting some streets and things of San Antonio. And then coming on down here for the last one, another one that depicts restoration of San Pedro Creek. And this whole area over here is considered the San Pedro Creek Culture Park. 
As you can see, there is uh, quite a bit of artwork depicting some of San Antonio's history over here, and definitely a lot to see if you do come down here. As I'm leaving down from that tunnel, I walk through into another tunnel. Ooh, whoa, look, the water is like right at the edge of where I'm walking here. Just look at that. Wow. This area is quite beautiful. A lot of paths and walkways. Oh, there's some ducks right there too. Look at this. Hey guys. What are y'all doing? Hey. Oh, I don't have any food. I hate to be a tease over here. I just wanted to get a shot of y'all. Oh, he's very friendly. Hey. Oh, look at this dam over here. Dang. As you can kind of see how the dam functions here, this lifts up to restrict the water flow and then I guess it lifts down to let more water out. That's how a dam works. You can get kind of a better shot there of the dam. Pretty neat. I would, I would like to actually see that running. I want to see it come down and see all the water flow now. That'd be pretty cool. And as you can see, this pathway goes on for quite a bit. Thanks for a lot of really cool photo ops if you're trying to get some. It's a very quiet, nice area of town if you're trying to get away from a lot of the hustle and bustle of the city. I know it took me a long time to get down here. As you can see, the city is undergoing quite a bit of construction. It's pretty constant out here. If you're familiar with Austin, you know that Austin is littered with cranes everywhere. San Antonio's becoming quite the same. And then right here at UTSA, which is right along the water, they have some more artwork just along the sides of the building there. There's like a drone flying right there. There it goes. There's some like artwork right outside of UTSA. Wow, it's like rusted metal all along. Got like two balls and a cylinder, some sort of curved piece right here. There's a better shot of it there. There's like quite a bit of seating all along this pathway over here right next to the river. And boy, look at all that construction going on. Something big's coming over here. See, it looks like they're pouring some cement right there. A lot of these buildings over here are very historic, as you can see. Obviously, I don't know the history of every single one of them, but you can see this place has been here quite some time. It looks like that they're leaving it here and building something to be attached to it right there. Here's kind of like a picture of what this area of town used to look like. I wonder if I could find these buildings right here. As you can see those lights are really starting to come on on that waterfall. It's really cool looking. I'll just get one more quick side shot of that London head right there. It's such an interesting thing to be in the center of San Antonio. Really old looking fire escape right there. You can see it's like a weight on there that would actually pull this down to help get the fire escape going. That's really old looking, oh my gosh. I, I wouldn't feel so safe if I was coming out of a fire. As you can see, this whole area is just rejuvenated, beautiful looking. It's pretty incredible. Look at this amazing shot. The Frost Building right there. That is the coolest looking building ever. Look at this really old theater right here. I can only assume that's what it is. It's the Alameda. That's incredible. It's not often you see something that pristine. This actually shows what the theater looked like in 1937, two years before it was remodeled and enlarged and turned into the Alameda right here. There's a picture of like a gala opening advertisement for the Alameda Theater. Looks like this was from 1949. Wow. See a picture of people waiting right there to actually into the theater. Wait. Walk sign is. God, that theater looks even better from far away. That is so cool. I want to go inside. That was pretty cool. There's a lot of interesting things to be seen along San Pedro. I'm going to have to come back and get video of just everything from the beginning of the creek all the way down to the end. I think there's a lot of stuff that's very video worthy. So, Another video idea in the works here. I'm really excited to do that. If you made it to the end of the video, you're a champ. You're one of my real followers. I really appreciate it. If you liked the video, 
like the video really helps with moving my video up the rankings i'd really appreciate it and if you want to see more videos like this hit the subscribe button because i make videos all around san antonio i plan to venture out outside of san antonio i do theme parks roadside attractions trying to find some more abandoned buildings around here but i feel like i've depleted all of my options at this point or some of them are just not accessible but thank you guys so much for watching and with that being said have a good day